Hi, my name is Dr. Schweinsgruber from audioreviews.org and today we are talking about the Kadas Tone 2 Pro. Tone 2 because uh, this is the second iteration of something called a tone board which was just a board with a bunch of transistors and, and capacitors and now Kadas actually have come up with a nice aluminum enclosure on top of it and some silicone below sitting on a desk it doesn't scratch anything so what is that thing it's a fully fledged although very small desktop duck and headphone amp so you can use it just as a duck in connection with a external headphone amp as you see and you can just use it as all in one and uh, uh, this is always a written review and you get more details out of the written review okay specifications the duck has got a the duck chipset is the top of the line saber saber chipset um, it's got uh, it's several stages of amps and op amps and uh, it's got um, a very small output impedance of much less than one ohm that's actually very good and so on um, it's relatively powerful it's more powerful than a dongle it's got 2.1 volts the single-ended uh, circuit 2.1 volts um, into 32 ohms that is um, 125 uh, milliwatts and uh, it's got two point in the balanced one it's got 2.6 volts into 32 ohms and that is uh, 211 milliwatts so it's a nicely small and reasonably powerful desktop amp. Okay, let's talk about connectivity. So first of all, you've got you've got your you've got your source. You can connect your source. That's your computer. That's your phone. And uh, you have an I2S USB-C port, and that's an external power supply. And uh, once you plug this in it's prioritized and it doesn't draw power from your source if you want a cleaner power from a linear power supply it's got your coax as pdf um, you can connect your uh, cd player if you want and uh, you can also reverse this use it as an output uh, with a firmware change firmware upgrade so that uh, you can use it as a usb-c to coax Hub. Then you've got uh, two RCA connectors. These are balanced. Uh, we'll talk about this later. You can just connect it to your to your headphone amp. In terms of headphone connectivity, you have your 4.4 millimeter balanced socket, and you have your 2.5, a 3.5 millimeter single ended socket and you can operate these simultaneously now balanced rca the idea is that you have to, that you transfer your balanced signal to a balanced amp which i don't have here however no amp would have a balanced rcas because only cad has, has those because they invented it but some amps have an xlr in so and so you have to get a 40 dollar adapter that is RCA balanced into XLR and then you can listen to balanced but you also need a balanced headphone cable and so on so you need a whole balanced chain let's talk about the volume knob which is also a, a digital encoder so you have uh, essentially two movements uh, they call it tabbing but it's more you, it's more a joystick motion a you have to push it towards you or you have to push it inside and you typically do double pushes and then you see the light changes uh, and uh, these are the different modes and you just essentially have to learn this and these modes are volume um, input filter gain and so on and when you in each mode you have I think five modes you can then turn Let's just go here to the next mode you can turn and you change things around in each mode now that's the 
shortcut. You have a monstrous manual that explains all this and it's got these different color codes. The problem is it's really confusing and you have to go back to my written review and you have to look at these uh, videos and once you've seen the videos you would understand it. It's a little bit counterintuitive and the problem is you have to really hold that thing with two hands to operate it because it's so light and so small. Yeah, counterintuitive, but it works. And once you understand it, and you understand all these um, these um, light signatures, this uh, you um, you will really love it. As you see, I connected an external power supply. It's a power supply. Let's have a look at power supply. So Katas does not give you a power supply with this device. It actually recommends a linear power supply. A linear power supply costs you at least $50, if not $200. Depends where you live. A good linear power supply in Germany is 120 euros. This device is $199. It's kind of cost prohibitive. And uh, so I tested, I tested some, first of all, I tested, I just connected it to the laptop and I can AB very well because when I connect an external power supply, it prior, prioritizes the external power supply and it just switches over automatically. So you can really AB, you can unplug, plug, it can AB. And I didn't hear a difference when I put, I just used this 15 or 10 or $15 10,000 milliampere hour power bank from Costco, which I, which should uh, should uh, generate or deliver quite uh, steady, uh, consistent linear power. And then I had borrowed this IFI PowerX power supply, which I plugged in. And quite frankly, I could not hear a difference. And then I just used that old Apple iPad power supply, that's a switching power supply, so it should be less clean. And I'm afraid I could not hear a difference. So I have to test it further. But the point is, and I also talked to Amir, the guy from Audio Science Reviews, it's just fine connecting it to your, either your battery or your laptop. Although the laptop is in theory an electrical storm, but it was just fine. So uh, how does it sound? Um, I tested it first, as I said, with uh, with uh, the balanced headphone port in a computer, and it just sounded just just great. It sounded uh, it sounded uh, other than the timbre, timbre was a little bit off. It sounded good. Then I then I the next one I checked it with was the next one was the Sennheiser. HD 600 and it was pushing it a little bit. It still works. It still works. It's still okay. But it was a little bit. It was. It, it was coming to its 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 limits. It's. Um, it could have been. Uh, it could have been a bit more aggressive and a bit more impulsive. It was a little bit on the polite side, but that's what you expect. I mean, this is a hard to drive headphone, and if you use the HD 800, it probably is pushing it even more. But that's why you can connect an external headphone app. And then what I did is I, I connected it uh, with this Amazon Basics um, um, coax cable to my Marans SA CD player. I played CDs and that sounded really good. It had a huge, um, 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 and I used uh, the Sennheiser HD 600 again. And I had a huge uh, um, headroom with that, probably, probably because of the um, the uncompressed format. But that was actually really good, and I got lots of power. It was uh, it was uh, was great. And eventually, what I did is I connected. So, and eventually, I connected the Cutters Pro. Tone 2 Pro uh, with these cables, I connected them to the shit Magni Uber, like this. And I'm, use, I'm using here some cables they're called Snake Oil from a small startup company out of a garage in California. We remember Apple started like this, and uh, they kindly provided these cables. and. 
that sounded actually powerful and natural. So this was the solution for these big Sennheisers. And it sounded just fine. It's a very bassy, very strong, very natural, a good impulse. So that uh, little um, shit amp had quite a difference. Okay, here we have it. The Kadas T2 Pro works in a lot of applications. Um, its advantage is the balanced circuit. It's looking into the future by providing balanced RCAs. You can already run it with a $40 adapter from Kadas with your balanced amp, which this one isn't, and your balanced headphone cable. And it sounds good, it's fun. It's a great little thing, it's unique and uh, I really enjoy using it. And if you like this video, just give us a like and uh, uh, ring the bell and subscribe to our channel. Other than that, see you next time. I'm Dr. Schweinsgruber in Calgary. Auf Wiedersehen.